This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Hello everyone, good morning. It is actually really early in the morning today. For once I woke up prior to 12, it is currently 9 a.m. or I guess it's 10 now. And it's winter session time. So if you guys don't know, winter session is a thing we do at RISD where basically we have like a semester and then a break or winter break. And then we have winter session, which is like a month of experimental times for students and then another break and then spring semester. So right now we're in winter session. So everything's super lax and I feel actually very stress-free for once. I'm only taking one class because everyone only takes one class during winter session. Some people take two. I took two last year. I digress. I am very excited because today I'm making paper. I'm taking a paper making class and it's been really cool. We've only had one class and all we learned in it is how to make paper, but we are told to experiment outside of our studio hours. So I have a lot of things to do today. We are working on enclosures in paper, which is where you take like a thin layer of paper and then you put something in it and then you put another layer. I want to cuff these sleeves. I thought I did. I don't like this white stitching. I just got this shirt yesterday. It's from PacSun. That was cute. I don't know why Paxson's doing like one size fits all now though. I don't like it because it's not very size inclusive. Everything fits me okay, but some things are a bit big on me and I'm sure they're a bit small for other people. So I don't know why they're doing this. Anyway, so I thought you guys would appreciate following me on my paper making journey. Today, I am bringing some materials. So we are told to bring things that we can encase. So first of all, I'm actually really excited about these sticky notes because I think, I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if anything will work, but I feel like these might. These were expensive though. They were $9 for these sticky notes. So so I'm gonna be very sparing with these. <laughs> and then I also have a bunch of glitter. Um, I have like these heart ones. She told us not to bring glitter, but these are chunky glitters. So I feel like it might be okay. We have some pink ones. Um, a yellow one. And these were my favorite glitters in high school. I have two sets of glitter because I have some here and then I have some at home and then I haven't been bringing them back and forth because I don't actually use these much in my art. I should though. I honestly forgot that I own these. I'm gonna be bringing all of these. I have this big thing of yellow glitter, which is exciting because I think this one will actually look very cute. I ordered some pressed flowers online, but I have yet to receive them. I don't know when I'm going to. I think this Thursday, it's currently Sunday. So I will be bringing those in later. I have some scrap paper, huge back of scrap paper and then i'm bringing this which is just a bunch of cut up thread and i'm just gonna see how that goes because i don't know and then i'll just bring these stickers as well because like why not these were really cheap so i don't really mind using them because i have a feeling that it'll probably not go as i planned because i've never really made paper before but i really want to make some with pressed flowers also this is a green tea peach green tea it is really good there's like a qr code in the lid that's so funny but i'm gonna pack all this up and put in my strawberry bag I love my strawberry bag. I got it from the kids section at Zara. <laughs> I mean, I don't think these will spill, but if they do, like, that's okay, I guess. So we have all of these glitter guys. Today's just gonna be an experiment because I don't really know what'll work. I'm just hoping that they work. And then we have sticky notes. Um, this. I think I should put these in a baggie so that it'll fit. Also, we're not allowed to bring, like, anything in the studio, like, phones or bags or anything. So I'm gonna sneak my phone in today to vlog. I'm just gonna take stuff out of this one. My desk is a mess right now. I don't even want to talk about it. Go. Oh, I spilled some. I really want to make some with pressed flowers and I really want to make some with the glitter. That's what I'm most excited about. We don't know how anything's gonna go today. So we're just gonna try things and see how they go. Um, honestly, actually, I don't wanna, mm, I'll bring them. I, I was about to say, I don't wanna bring them because I don't have many left. And we have these sticker flakes. I can bring these too. I don't wanna use too many paper products because I don't really know how it's gonna go, but we're just gonna try. I have this entire container, which is a little koala container. It's so cute. It's from Koala. March. I got it at H-Mart like the longest time ago and I wish they would do them again because they're really, really cute. But I have a bunch of cute sticky notes in here. So I'm gonna see what I wanna bring. I'm so excited. Like, I don't think you guys can tell properly because I'm also exhausted. Wait, I wanna bring these. These are also sticker flakes and I think these are cute. And they're all different paper textures, which is why I wanna test it. Cause I've never made paper before. I think we're set now. Okay, so I have my strawberry bag. We're ready to go. Here's the fit for today. New shirt, you're looking good. It is literally 13 degrees today. It was 13 degrees yesterday too, and I did not like it because it was really cold, obviously. I want to wear my teddy bear jacket. I know it won't be warm enough. Why do the ends of my hair do this? Whatever. But I think we're just gonna try because it's so cute. I don't want to wear it. So I went scavenging around my room and I actually found some other things. First of all, when I inevitably eat all these snacks, I'm gonna want to use the wrappers because they're cute. But I have these strawberry candy ones. I'm just going to unwrap some of them so that I can use the wrappers because I think they'd be cute, you know? So I'm just going to cut them with 
tiny, tiny pink scissors. I'm just gonna cut up some of these pink wrappers, I guess semi-neatly. Maybe this one I'll do like squiggly. I don't know. I just think the strawberries are like so cute, you know? I don't know how any of this is gonna go. Hopefully it all comes out cute. Doot, 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 doot. Also, the sheets of paper that we've been making are pretty small. They're like this big, so I don't need too much to kind of like fill it up. And we made some sheets on Friday, so they should be dry today, so we can also see how those turned out. And those are just like normal sheets of paper. Doot, 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 doot. I need another container for this. I'm running out of like containers in my room. Um... I have this box. I guess I can use a box. Sure, whatever. <laughs> I think I'm also gonna try to cut some of these strawberries out. So we will see how that goes. This is how you prepare for very cold days, except I should wear a hat. My hair does not allow for it, <laughs> but I will do it anyway. Cause I will literally freeze my ears off. And that is not fun and desirable. I look like a baby. Oh my god, ice. And then our friend Mary. <laughs> I have a lot of friends in this class, so we're all gonna walk up together. And so welcome to studio. Now we're here. Woo! This is what the paper making studio looks like. It is in the graphic design building, which I've never been in before because this is an out of major class for me. So I'm very excited. Here are the papers that we made last time in class. And I didn't vlog this at the time, but I'm peeling these off these boards that we had them on. Clearly you can see them kind of flaking off, but here they are. Here's what they look like. We have some with little text squares and some that are just blank pages. And here's the pulp that we have pre-prepared. And before we get into the process, I just want to give a shout out to Square space which is the sponsor of today's video you guys know that i have recently launched my own website which is super exciting because as an artist it is really really important to have a portfolio website this was something i was honestly dreading for a long time considering i'm a senior i really need to do it and this year squarespace has been my sponsor and has been super helpful i highly recommend squarespace for any website need because they make it so easy and give you so many different options so i can even put my favorite youtube videos in my little squarespace website and i can also move my shop from Etsy completely onto Squarespace and it just transfers all your data there so it makes it so easy for you so you no longer have to pay fees for when you're selling things online through third parties and so I really really appreciate Squarespace they've made making a website so incredibly easy and I am so thankful that they exist because I would not have been able to put a website together by myself without this program so feel free to check out Squarespace you can use my code Tiffany Wang at checkout for a discount off your first purchase purchase of a website or domain and I really appreciate them for sponsoring this video. So let's get back into the paper making. And here's the process of me making one. So you just put the pulp in the vat, you swish it around, and then you pull it up with your deco and mold. And as you can see on the right, I'm putting in some of my own thread and I want to see if that comes out cool. I don't know how anything comes out because this is like my second time paper making and the first time was in class like two days ago. So I'm very, very new to this and I'm just trying my best, but I think I'm getting better at it. And so there's one sheet of paper and here are several that I made with the thread. I pre-cut these colored threads as you guys saw and then I put them in the paper and they remind me of like disco floors but now I have learned from my past mistakes I'm going to swish around some of this thread in the water and just like a little thing of water so that they all get soaked and can separate properly because when I was putting them in the pulp I realized that they were kind of clumping together and then because the pulp is kind of thick it wasn't letting the threads separate so now the threads will be super evenly incorporated and I just made some with white paper as well and I actually stacked some of these on top of each other so it's like double-sided paper which was really cool cool. I didn't know how this was going to turn out because like I said last time you guys saw the papers I made they were super basic but now I'm experimenting with some cool stuff so I'm very excited. These sheets actually came out cooler than expected so stay tuned till the end of the video where I will show you guys what all of these sheets ended up looking like and I made some sheets that were just like regular ones. That one that's thicker has like two layers of white on it, I think. Yeah, you can see the little paper threads and it looks like Easter party paper and it's very cute. And then I just made some plain white sheets as well. There's little spots in them because I started mixing two of the different pulps together and I think that's why that happened, but I don't know. And I'm gonna mix in some paper. I didn't cut this prior because I didn't really think I'd want to do this. But then once I got in class, I was like, I totally want to do this. So I cut up some little sheets of paper and then I threw them in there. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing. Thing. And now I'm making some ombre paper or some like gradient paper and you just swish around the two different pulps I tried to film it with one hand and it was not the best But here's how my party paper is coming out and I think it's really cute And lastly, I tried some glitter 
this was very nerve-wracking because I feel like it was very different than everything. And so now that all of the paper is done and made, we are going to press it in this little contraption where you just stack a bunch of cardboard and paper together. So it's gonna dry here overnight so we can come and retrieve our paper in the morning tomorrow. But now we're gonna go get some lunch and I'm very excited. We decided to go up to Thayer and get ramen, which we've been trying to do for like the whole semester, but no one's been in the mood for ramen all at the same time. And so we came here. This place is really good. They have a really cute squirtle on their little chalkboard. So I appreciate that. But I got some takoyaki as an appetizer because I love takoyaki. Oh my God, I like can't hold chopsticks. <laughs> Ramen. Mary! No ramen for <laughs> This ramen place is really, really good, so I highly recommend. As you can see, here's everyone's ramen. It is very, very tasty, and we are very excited to be eating. And we've been working from like 10 to 2, so we're all really tired from standing up all day. This music is exactly how I feel. It's such a weird music. <laughs> So now we're gonna go to a different cafe. This is basically a long story. So we found this cafe that we liked last semester, but then they closed, but they actually reopened just like a few blocks down. So this is Ceremony Tea and they have a bunch of like cute little Asian snacks and drinks, which really get me. And so here's what the interior looks like. It's a really, really cozy space. And I really appreciate how like cute it is because I just think it looks so nice and it feels really nice to be in. So this would be a really good place to come and study for future reference, but I see some little drinks. I decided to get this white peach drink, even though it was $5. And they also have some other little snackies here that are very, very exciting. Overall, I'd rate this cafe like a 4.5 out of five stars because it was just really, really nice. And I really liked it. They have donuts here too and like some little snacks. So if I was hungry, I I would get it but i literally just had ramen and it was a lot and so now it's time for the taste test of this little drink time to see if this is good <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my god for some reason, I was completely incapable of opening this, which is actually usually what happens when I try to open bottles on my own, so I couldn't do it. As you can see, it's finally open because my friend had to help me, but now we're gonna taste test it. Oh my god, this is so good. Really? <laughs> the music in here is much better than in <laughs> the wrong place. I'm not my mask, it's like Oh my god. Look at him. He's the pink one. Oh, look at his ears. Hmm. So cute. Wait, I need to give him a close. Hey, Wait, is it? Oh. Wow, cats versus. What is look. it? Cat soup? Cats and soup. Cats and soup x Tiffany Wayne collab. <gasps> oh my god, he's a plant. Wait, is he pink because he's naked? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, and now I'm back home. It is so late, it is like dark outside now. It's been a very long and eventful day and it's been really, really fun. It's still really early right now, but I'm pretty much just like done for the day, gonna do some some fun stuff. I've been playing Don't Starve together lately. That's been really fun, so I'm probably gonna do that. Yeah, today I didn't get to do everything that I wanted to do, so I will be doing it again tomorrow and going back to the studio. I'm going to do some encasing stuff tomorrow, like I said with the sticky notes, and I wanna cut out more strawberries, so probably work on that tonight. And so yeah, those are the plans. Wait. Wait, right now I'm eating these while doing my nails and they're literally so good. Like, oh my God. Chocolate covered potato chips. I didn't think I'd like them as much as I do. It's not really like potato chip flavored. It's more like just like the chip texture. They're so good. Oh my God, I love these. So now I'm just preparing for the next time I'm gonna be paper making when we're gonna do enclosures because like I said, I didn't actually get to making them today. So I'm going to be putting them in the next vlog, but today I'm just preparing some of the little stuff I wanna put in it, which is a bunch of strawberries from these wrappers and this was actually not as tedious as you would think to cut out however i hate cutting plastic because it is so slippery on scissors that it makes it really hard to have a good grip on them but here they are a bunch of strawberries all cut out and it was actually quite easy it only took me like three minutes so yep yeah, that's everything that i did today and i will see you guys tomorrow in studio Woo!
Alrighty everyone, hello. It is actually the next next day because yesterday there was not enough pulp left to make stuff so we're gonna go back today. I have my papers from when we went and made them and they look so so good. So let's go through what we made. I made a lot in the four hour span. I was really grinding them out. First one we have is just this plain black denim. Um, one, two, three, four. We made like 12 sheets of this. So this is just like, it's made out of denim. So like jean material, but I did not process any of these pulp. So yeah, there's some black and then I've made some normal thin sheets of white paper But I don't have them with me I did three of these experimental ones where they're black on the front and then white on the back and So this is my panda paper <laughs> And I have another one just wanted to experiment, you know turned out interesting I don't really have plans for any of this paper. So I'd be cool and then we start getting into the cool stuff I really like how these ones came out or I really like how all the white ones came out But as you can see these are the ones with thread and when you hold them up to the sun you can like really see all of them but it has little rainbow threads and it's really cute and we have a bunch of these ones and then i did the same thing in black so the threads didn't actually show up as much as i thought they would in the black one arguably they're not showing up that much in the white ones either but because it's white it's like more translucent so you can see them in the black denim ones as you can see there's like a little bit here and there but not much going on so that's good to know and then I did some sheets of half and half with the little threads and I think these came out pretty nicely There's more threads in the black ones here, but also like in the black ones I put a bunch of them if you can tell by the texture a bunch of them are like buried I like to make like confetti paper and stuff because I think it's cute So that's what we have there and then we have some of these This is probably the worst one, um, but we have some of these like radiant ones. That one's really cool These are really difficult. I tried to film me doing one with one hand and did not go well but some of them do not look good like this one and then some of them look pretty interesting i don't know the the paper was weird so not sure how i feel about these i like some of them but i feel like most of them i it's not that i don't like them i just like don't really care about them i start adding these paper specs into the white one this one's pretty cool because it's like half an app right down the middle i don't know about the structural integrity of these papers but they're pretty cute this is cute if you were like a header or something this one's like a really nice gradient this is probably the best gradient i got but that's what those look like more panda papers i don't really care for denim paper particularly here are the denim ones that i made that are blue like i didn't i didn't experiment with this at all i just like made some of them i don't really care about them so yeah and then we have some half and half when i added the little paper flex so we have these and i think these look pretty good i think this is like more successful i think the paper Paper flex are probably more of the way to go. The whites are getting a little bit like dirty looking because the fibers are mixing, so I did not love that. But I think today I'm gonna focus on making some white paper because I just really love the confetti colors against the white. As you can see, there's like a lot of like, it looks like there's lint in it. And that just happens with like mixing the vats, you know? But a bunch of these are like that. And then we just have some plain of the ones with the speckles. So we have these blue ones, very pretty, wow. And then my favorite ones are the white ones with the speckles. I only did pink speckles. I'm I'm planning to make more pink paper. Also, they all have like these splotches. I'm not exactly sure why. I'm not sure if it's from mixing papers together because I had to do that because I ran out of the pulp or if it's from water. Either way, I really like them. These are my favorite papers that I made. Oh, and then here are like the failed ones. So I try to add glitter and it's not that it didn't come out. It's just like, I don't know if I really care about the way it came out. Cause the ones at the top here that you can see, they just like fleck off. Only the ones that are embedded stay, but I feel like that kind of defeats the point of paper. So don't really care too much about it. And then they start getting really dirty too. And I also, these are straight bamboo, which I don't really like. I like the Abaca paper better because it's smoother. This is actually half and half. So yeah, but as you can see the bamboo ones are really coarse. And I personally don't like that in my paper. So yeah, but if we count the ones that I don't like, here is my fat stack. It's a lot of paper to be made. I'm gonna probably cut off the edges of some of them. Sorry if you can hear the wind outside is going crazy. Here it is. It's been sitting in the press for a while, but last night I cut a bunch of, I'm kind of scared to open this. I hope it doesn't like fly out. It didn't, cool. I cut a bunch of paper confettis and I'm going to put this in the paper. And I think this is gonna work really, really well because like the threads worked well and the paper worked well, but the paper worked best. I didn't have enough of it because I didn't 
been pre-planned so I literally cut it there on the spot so I'm sure this is gonna be great and then for enclosures because I didn't get to do that yesterday I've been cutting a bunch of these little strawberry papers I dropped one that's like 30 seconds of my time and there's like a bunch of them so I'm gonna try a couple of these if they turn out well I'm gonna make a whole bunch of strawberry paper because I think that's so cute but yeah so how it all came out I guess I'll bring this back to the studio I don't really need it here other than I wanted to show you guys but we're gonna go try to make some more paper so I'm very excited um, and I can finally do the enclosures I wanted to do because I wanted to specifically enclose these because I think they'd be so so cute we are going to try to do that Okay, ignore my desk, it's a total mess. But you know how I said I didn't have any containers to put my strawberries? But like, I had this Copic opaque white ink container and like, look how cute, oh my god. We're gonna use all of these today, hopefully. The plans are to make a couple of different papers, so I'm excited. We are pretty much ready to go. I have my trusty strawberry bag. I love this bag. And we are going to head out. Let's go, make more paper. Also, I bought some of the, what's it called? dried flower petals online and they should be here tomorrow or the next day and so i'm really excited because those are going to be like my final papers like i want to make those really nice and right now i'm still kind of just experimenting seeing what happens so i am very excited and we are going to see what happens with those so that will be in the next vlog but we're gonna go make our paper now and so I was all excited to make all these enclosed papers, but unfortunately there's not enough pulp in the studio today. So it will have to wait until the next vlog, but I promise you guys, I will vlog the whole thing. And I hope you guys are excited about my strawberry paper. So I cannot do the enclosed papers today. So yeah, that is all the paper. Unfortunately, I cannot do the enclosures today because there's not enough pulp. So I will be doing that in the next video. So I will see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching hanging out. Give me any tips on paper making that anyone has. I know like some of you guys be knowing how to do the coolest things. So let me know in the comments down below. But I will see you guys in the next video. I'm so grateful for you guys watching. This is so much fun, OMG. I can't believe I made so much paper. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but like I'm pleased. So I will see you guys in the next video. Stay hydrated, take a nap. I will see you when I see you. Bye.